So this is what the light would look like just with a white light underneath it. Um, it's just just brought up like it really is like a, like a nighttime reading light. Um, for I mean this is just on my nightstand here and uh, you can tell it's like not too bright to keep anybody up but kind of gives you enough light to look around and um, and see things but it you know might not just be disturbing anybody else so I, I like that so I can imagine being kind of like a camping light or a night light or a reading light okay everybody um, so you saw the unboxing and now I'm gonna share with you uh, kind of like what this lamp can do this Weiju um, smart ambient lamp okay so um, I want to show you that it could change colors and it could change all kinds of different colors which is kind of cool it's just a, kind of a neat function so uh, right now I have it like at a green um, to can change it to a yellow and it's like this color palette that I get to use to uh, change it to a color that I want and I'm just kind of skipping around here on here so you can get an idea of the variety of different colors so I'm hoping that the camera shows uh, you know kind of like a true um, idea of what this is like so it also you can change the saturation of the light like that and you can also change the brightness I can turn it off turn it back on so yeah that's one of the things you could do is you got a variety of colors okay so you saw like a change of colors but how I was changing the colors is one of the another another functions of this smart lamp is uh, I was changing the colors using the app that it has so when you get the um, the lamp the, uh, and the instructions it tells you to download an app uh, and that also has to do with connecting it to your your Wi-Fi and your smart devices if you have one so um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna start recording my screen so you can see uh, what this is like uh, when I'm when I'm changing things so I go ahead and go into I'm going to go into my uh, my app. I've, I've named it the ball light because, frankly, it's a ball. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap into that. And here you go. I can turn it on and off just by clicking the button here. See that? Um, I can make it just uh, white. I can change the color temperature, the brightness. See that? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, I'm going to go back here. I'll go back to ball light here and uh, you get your color palette that's how I was changing it just a second ago just kind of going around like that changing whatever I wanted to uh, let's see here they've got some different scenes they call it I guess these are like pre pre light you know uh, colors whatever I if you like that and then uh, you can set uh, an alarm for when you want to you know turn it on or turn it off I haven't really messed with that too much but it's definitely available for you so another thing you can do and I'll kind of show you what I got going on here got my Alexa here right so um, I connected my um, smart light to my Alexa so here's an example uh, Alexa turn the ball light blue okay and it changes blue. Alexa, turn the ball light white. Okay. Alexa, turn off the ball light. Okay. Alexa, turn on the ball light. Okay. So you get the idea. You can, you can control the ball light through your smart device. I guess it works with Google Home and it works with Alexa like I just showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my Alexa that I just had right here next to me. And I'm going to use the app for Alexa that I have. And let's see here. Where's my Alexa app? So let's say you're not home and um, you want to turn on your light to make it look like somebody's home. You can use your Alexa app here. I'm going to go ahead and use it. And uh, Alexa, turn off the ball light. Okay. And so even if you're not home, you can turn this off uh, or turn it on to make it look like somebody's home. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Another thing you can do is, let's say I don't have any smart things, right? I don't have any um, smart devices. I don't have um, Alexa. I don't have Google Home. That's okay. 
you can still use this lamp. Um, so just by tapping on it, you can kind of run through the basic colors of this device all the way until off. And actually, there's an on off button at the bottom here. You can turn it off if you really want to just do it that way, which is cool. So even though it's, it's totally capable of being a smart device, you don't have to use it as a smart device. You could just use it as a portable lamp. So the next thing I wanted to share with you, which kind of ties into all this is you don't have to use this being plugged in. You can use it without being plugged in. So it's got like this a little mini battery in here and you can take this camping um, or wherever you want. And let's say, let me make sure I turn it on here before I start bragging about it. Take it with you. It's supposed to last like up to five hours. Again, still has all the same functions. Just keep tapping on it and take it camping with you. Um, it doesn't have to be plugged in. So pretty cool, right? Okay, so who's this light good for, right? Is it even good for a private investigator? Well, really, it's good for anybody. Um, it would be neat for anybody to have, whether they're going camping or they want to put by their, their nightstand, um, which you probably already saw that part of the video, um, where they can just kind of have a, a nice, uh, kind of a dim light to where you can read and uh, you're not bothering anybody. Um, which can, I mean, I'll, I'll probably have this in my bedroom. It could be kind of like a nightlight in the house um, where it's not, you know, wasted a bunch of energy. Um, I, I'm sure that you guys could find some other great uses for a portable light like this. Um, you know, <clears throat> you never know what situation you're going to be as a prime investigator. Um, and I think this is a really neat thing to have, whether it's for your home, uh, where it's totally not even used in regards to being a private investigator, but just uh, like a night light or a night uh, uh, a bedside light or something to that effect, or like I said, camping. So I think you should definitely check this out. Um, I've enjoyed testing it. Um, my son thought this thing was super cool. He took it to his bedroom the other night and um, and had it up there because he liked to be able to change the colors of the light on it. And uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. Um, again, I brought it back downstairs the next, you know, actually it was this morning, charged it up and I've been messing around with it some more. I took it out in my backyard. Um, you know, it, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, so I can give it a command no matter where I am. As long as it's reaching the Wi-Fi, it's going to accept my command and turn it off, whatever, whatever I do with Alexa. So anyways, guys, uh, definitely check this out. Super cool, super affordable. As I'm doing this review to have this smart ambient light um, it's $29.99 on Amazon definitely check it out if you decide to pick one up um, please use my link that's in the description below this video or in the uh, formal written review where there's some more pictures uh, that I share about this device um, and just so you know that I am an affiliate for Amazon so I will receive a really small commission um, if you decide to purchase this through my link and I thank you in advance if you decide to so definitely check it out and I thank you Weeju for letting me uh, test this out for you guys uh, it's a pretty neat device I'm just getting into the smart devices and this is literally my first smart device that I can connect to Alexa so that was pretty cool so anyways guys check it out thank you again for watching see you guys in the next one